everyone, and welcome to Sharpest Gaming, and today we're coming back at you with some more Pokemon VGC 2017 Wayward to Worlds with the 2K and team once again. As you can see, I've not changed a damn thing, as per usual. Um, still haven't had time to really practice, and, like, I'd advocate, but I don't know if it's actually going to help us. So, hopefully, I mean, I'm I'm saying hopefully, but we probably won't have to any time to try out this team much further. Just because, um... Got a lot of things going on. Work, of course. We got. I'm going to be moving soon. Two weeks now. Two weeks now I'll be moving. Um, and then the the uh, tournament will actually be going on. The inter international online tournament will be going on next weekend as well. So that will be fun to try and get that in while I'm trying to move as well. <laughs> but um, let's get started here. Uh, we should be good to go. Should be good to go. But we're starting off with the 1587 rating today, and if you guys are enjoying the Wayward to World series, be sure to hit that like button down below, and subscribe if you're not already. It really helps me out, and it makes me happy inside. 1571 rated player Chloe from Japan. Let's see what Chloe's going to bring today. It's going to be Alolan Muck, Drift Blim, Gyarados, Togedemaru, Garchomp, and Tapulele. I've seen a lot of Togedemaru lately, which is interesting because... We haven't seen a lot of Tapu Koko, so I wonder if Togemaru has just taken over for Tapu Koko and then everybody told each other and nobody wants to murder Tapu Koko anymore? It's very interesting indeed. Um, my Lolan Marowak actually does really, really well here. It hits four of his Pokemon super effectively. Uh, we will have to bring Porygon 2, of course, um, but we'll have to worry about Togemaru. Um, my opponent could lead Tapu Lele Drift Blim. I'm gonna go Porygon 2 Metagross with Marowak in the back. Marowak in the back! Um, and then, <laughs> Jesus. And then either we go to Cannon or my Lodic. I'm kind of wanting to go my Lodic just because of the Garchomp. Also, the Gyarados can give us the boost. Um, but then to Cannon can do next to nothing to a lot of things. So, I think we'll go my Lodic here. I haven't brought my Lodic in a while. Let's bring my Lodic instead. I also haven't brought Toucanon very much. And then when I do bring Toucanon, it doesn't really get to do a lot because I just kind of either lose really fast or win really fast. So let's see if we can change that today. But unfortunately, not in this battle. Alright, Chloe. Tapu Lele. Drifblim. Meta. And Porygon 2. Meta and Porygon 2. Drifblim. Tapu Lele. Just like I predicted the prediction game too strong for you um i'm kind of think um, i'm just trying to think because tapu lele could have taunt i don't think drift blim gets taunt but drift blim typically carry will-o-wisp so i don't want my metagross getting wisped but do i just because hmm. i could trick room here the drift blim shouldn't be able to touch my porygon too I will protect Metagross here. Meta. So Metagross appears to be the only Pokemon protecting this turn. Drift Blim actually goes for Hypnosis and lands it on Porygon 2. That is upsetting. So I could have just punched this Drift Blim, or not Drift Blim, uh, Tapu Lele right in the face. Gonna go for Psychic into the Porygon 2 as well. That's gonna hurt. Oh wow. That, the critical hit. Come on. Not only do you land the Hypnosis, but you get the critical hit on the Porygon, too. That is garbage. All right. What can I do about this? Next to nothing. So <laughs> I'm going to attempt a Trick Room. It probably won't work, though. And I'm going to try and Meteor Mash to the top of Lele. I'm assuming Drift Blim doesn't have Will-O-Wisp. What the cuck? Why do you have two, two status moves on your Drift Blim? I mean, Meteor Mash, it's... Uh, I don't know if Meteor Mash still KOs. It should still, it still, should still do a nice chunk. Psychic's going to be able to knock us out because of that critical hit. God, we're just getting cut. Meteor Mash. Can I just rage quit now? Jesus. You've got to be kidding me with this shit. So now Drift Blim and Tapu Lele can just body my Marowak. God, this is garbage. I'm going to protect the Marowak. If I can somehow pull my head out of my anus here and win. It's it's going to be a long shot, but we're going to try for it. So Marowak, going to be the only one protecting this turn. 
<sighs> Shadow Ball into the Marowak. Probably Psychic as well. Yep. Leaving Metagross alone, thinking they're safe. But Meter Mash should still hurt pretty good on the top of Lele. It's going to do about 50%, and we do get the attack increase on Metagross too. Burp. Excuse me. <laughs> um, the only thing I can really do here is double protect with Marowak. And Meteor Mash once again into Tapu Lele. Get it, Marowak. We can't catch a freaking break. Shadow Ball, gonna connect with Marowak. Gonna do a poop ton of damage, and this Psychic will be able to take us out from here. I'm, surpri I'm really surprised he's not attacking Metagross. I mean, we're burned, but we're now also... Plus one. And we connect the second Meteor Mash, so if Marowak would have gotten that Protect off, would have been looking good. But I think we're going to need Milotic more than we would have needed Marowak. That's why I decided to just let it go down if we didn't get that double Protect. So now I bring in Milotic, and if he's got Gyarados sitting there, I'm, I'm assuming he would bring in Garchomp if he has it. Actually, he brings in Alolan Muck. Ooh, interesting, interesting. I bring in my Milotic. My Milotic. My 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 Milotic. I'm going to Scald the Muck to try and get the burn there. And then I'm going to protect my Metagross. This way we can hopefully cripple the Muck before they start bashing down my Metagross. Metagross will protect here. Drift Blim go... Why is this Drift Blim hitting Hypnosis? Does, does this terrain increase accuracy on hypnosis it can't there's no way i would have heard about it if it did that and we would see more hypnosis if it did that knock off into metagross god damn this drift blim <sighs> having having that secret tech of hypnosis really helped him out there also if i just punch the the uh, top of lele straight away i'm gonna try and scald the muck once again And I'm going to Meteor Mash the Muck as well. We probably just faint to a knockoff. Or if he doubles into me, a Shadow Ball knockoff. Now he hates Metagross after after it's gotten rid of his mod already. Uh, Melodic is able to wake up turn one, get the Scald off on the Muck. Are we able to burn it here? Yes, we are. I still don't think we'll live a knockoff, unfortunately. Ooh, just barely holding on with the 23 HP. Meteor Mash... Connects with Alolan Muck. Bop, bop, bop. Gonna do plenty of damage, unfortunately, bringing it to its Figgy Berry, though. So, really, at this point, Melodic just kind of has to hold out. Is essentially all we can do. I do have Citrus Berry on my Milo Tick. I'm gonna Scald the Drift Blim. I'm gonna try and Meteor Mash the Muck. But I'm assuming Metagross just goes down here. Either from Shadow Ball, which is what it appears to be, yep. And then knock off into my Lodic. Uh, if we didn't get completely and utterly dicked right at the beginning of this match, maybe we would have had a chance. Gonna knock off my Citrus Berry. Fortunately, the Muck's not going to be able to do much here. The Drift Blim just kind of has to hope for... Hypnosis, hypnosize, hitting, hypnoses. I kind of want to sit here and stall out, see what I can do, just because, just because of how I was treated as beginning of the match. There's a special defense drop. Fortunately, that will give me a plus two in special attack. Unfortunately, I have a special defense drop. So Skull going off here into the Drift Blim. Should be doing a, quite a bit more damage here. No burn still. Poison Jab coming out from Muck. Um, no poison though. No poison though. I could recover here. I think I will. I want to recover just to see how much that Shadow Ball can do to me. Where's the Shadow Ball come out from Drift Blim here? And it's doing quite a bit of damage. I don't know if I'm going to be able to recover it off, especially getting hit by the muck. Oh, that's not bad. That is not bad. Where's the poison? Still no, still no poison status. 
just letting the muck whittle itself down here and recover. Now, what we can do... Okay, so Tapu Lele's gone. If my opponent, for some reason, has Garchomp in the back, we might not be in a terrible position. I'm going to recover up here once again. Um, so what I could try and do... I don't know how many recovers I have. So what I could do is recover stall... Oh, shit, we got poisoned. That ain't good. Um... I was trying to think. If we can take a poison turn and a shadow ball turn. Because we could protect here. We could protect here. Just because uh, I'm just... I want to I wanna make it so that Muck faints the same turn I faint the Drift Blim. But I have to hit the Drift Blim twice. That's the only thing. I'm going to recover once again. Mm -mm -mm. Messy Shadow Ball from Drift Blim. I could also stall the drift blims out of sh drift blims, drift blim out of shadow balls as well. Um, I don't think we're recovering enough. Now that we're poisoned, yeah, I don't think we're recovering enough anymore. Shit! Oh shit! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If my opponent, if my opponent was smart. Which they don't necessarily need to, but they could switch out Muck here while I'm sitting there recover stalling and then attack with their healthy Pokemon in the back. But this Drift Blim is just putting so much damage on me, I'm not going to be able to recover it off for much longer, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, this poison is putting us at a point where I'm not going to be able to do this. Yeah. Shite. Shite hole. Um, and Shadow Ball, I think, has a ton of PP, too, and we've really only wasted six. Um, I'll protect here. I'd run, but it's not their fault that I got cocked. It's the game's fault. It's not their fault that they crit me. And they were just smart enough to have both Will-O-Wisp and Hypnosis. Yeah. Unfortunately, we got poisoned, so we weren't able to get around get around that, so. I'll hit recover, but we're not going to live the Shadow Ball. Shoot. Shoot, dang. We tried. The game just turned the tables against us and didn't give us any favors the rest of the match, so. What can you do? The only favor it really gave us was the burn on the muck. And even then, it wasn't enough to help us, so. What can you do? You can't win if the game doesn't want you to. So we will uh, look for a new match, and hopefully this one will be a little more kind to us. I do 100% uh, blame the loss there on the critical hit on the Porygon 2. I mean, to be fair, to be fair... If I had just attacked the Metagross turn one, but I had no I had no way of knowing he was going to have Hypnosis, because Driplins typically don't carry Hypnosis, much less hit all of them that they go for. So, what can you do? What can you do? Just move on to the next match is really all you can do. So 1570, not much of a drop for us, fortunately enough. And let's see if we can find a second opponent today. There we go, 1553 rated player from Kanan Kanagwa Kanagwa Gua? I don't know how to say that. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I don't know how to say that. So we have a Trick Room team hiding the Trick Room within the Comfey, not a Pokemon you typically see, with a uh, fast mode with Feramosa and Lucario. <laughs> and his Trick Room is slower than my Trick Room, so I don't necessarily want to Trick Room. Does that make sense? So I'm going to bring Hariyama. I think we can go to Cannon. To Cannon actually kind of does work to this team, so I'm going to bring to Cannon. Hariyama to Cannon with who else? We could go Marowak. I think my Lodic's going to be pretty good, especially for the Mudsdale. So let's bring my Lodic. Let's go Marowak. No Metagross. 
No Porygon two. Two of my fa two of my most used Pokemon in this team. I was gonna say favorite, but I don't really like Porygon two. I don't like you, Porygon two. I'm much more of an Oranguru guy for Trick Room. I think it's a lot better. It's a lot harder to stop Trick Room that way too. But but I don't know. So Comfe Feromosa. So I'm assuming Comfe is gonna sit here and try and uh, get Feromosa to survive. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna do is just fake out the Feromosa and we're gonna Brave Bird the Garbaggio out of it. I don't know that uh, Confei or Feromosa is going to be able to do much to Toucanon. Going to actually withdraw the Feromosa. <laughs> going for Torkoal, so Torkoal's taking a big hit. I don't know if you want to lead Feromosa if you're just going to switch in Torkoal. I'm assuming Trick Room goes up here from Confei. But Torkoal is getting blown back right now. <laughs> so Eruption's going to do little to nothing. Here comes the Brave Bird from the Toucanon. Wow, yeah. Don't switch in Torkoal, guys. Uh, when you have a really threatening mod sitting up front. Not a good idea. But, that being said, um, the Confei can now heal the Torkoal. So what I'll do is Heavy Slam the Confei. And I'm going to switch in my Milotic. Um, Hariyama is a Salt Vest, so it should take an Eruption. Torkoal shouldn't be able to get back to full health, either. Um, unless Floral Healing gets a boost in the Sun, which I'm not aware of. There's Flora Healing for the Torkoal. Torkoal. And it does heal quite a bit, but Eruption still shouldn't be doing too much to these two with Assault Vest. I w kind of wish I was Thick Fat at this point, but... Yeah, we're going to Heavy Slam into the uh, Column Fae. This should knock it out. Oh, Focus Ash, I think. Yeah, Focus Ash. And then my Lodic will be sitting here like, what? What you talking about, mate? So my Lodic will definitely take a another. Give me another. So what I'll do is just Heavy Slam and Scald into the Confei. Uh, this covers in case for any reason. Uh, um, what was I going to say? Well, what's going to happen is Torkoal is going to knock out the Hariyama. So this way we still knock out the Confei. And then if for some reason Torkoal wanted to attack my Lodic instead with a uh, Grass-type move, uh, we still would have been able to knock out the Confei. So we do Eater Citrus Berry, so my Lodic is still looking pretty healthy here. So no worries in that regard. We go for the Scald. Knock out the Confei. I'd rather get rid of that than the Torkoal currently, just because uh, Confei is going to continuously heal Torkoal, and we will get nowhere. Now I can bring out the Marowak. And we should be able to take one eruption. It just depends on what my opponent's other Pokemon is going to be. It's going to be Drampa. Drampa. So I don't know if ugh, this Drampa might have Energy Ball. That could be bad for us. But that also being said, it shouldn't be able to touch Marowak. So I should be able to just Bone Meringue this Torkoal in the face and then protect my Milotic. So my Lodic's in Protect here. Should be the only one protecting, because I believe my Lodic is currently the fastest on the field. Torkoal does go for that Eruption. Which Marowak should live. And then Drampa goes for Energy Ball into my Lodic. Called it! Now we just have to hit this Bone Meringue. Thank you, God. Bop. Not going to do enough to knock out Torkoal, which I was kind of assuming, but it does put it in a range where Eruption's doing little to nothing. So I am honestly not worried about Torkoal anymore. I mean, Heat Wave's going to hurt, but how many turns of Trick Room do we have left? This is the final one. So what I can do is I can't do much to that Drampa with this Marowak is the only thing. Who do I have in the back? Do Cannon? I might just let my Lodic take this Energy Ball, honestly. I'm going to Shadow Bone the Torkoal. Mm hmm. I'm going to try and double protect here. A lot of try and getting double protects this episode, this this uh, video. Unfortunately, not getting it. Eruption. The combination of Eruption and Energy Ball should unfortunately get us. If it doesn't for some unknown reason... Oh, did he turn to my rack? No, he turned to... He still hated my luck. Okay. And unfortunately, my luck's going to faint there. But between Marowak 
into cannon, we might be able to get the Faramosa. Unfortunately, Trick Room reverses this turn, and he's got Faramosa, which is bad for us. Um... I'm trying to think of the Faramosa can can knock out my two cannon here. I don't know that it can. Oh, Ice Beam, I guess. I'm just trying to think if it's worth protecting my Marowak or not. I think we just Flare Blitz the Faramosa. I guess I could Fury Attack Faramosa. But then I can't do anything to Drampa. So I need to Brave Bird the Drampa, unfortunately. Unfortunately, because Marowak can't do anything to Drampa. Yeah, it's got Ice Beam. God damn it. God damn it. Are we able to survive? Nope! Yet. There's the Beast Boost. It's actually Life Orb Faramosa. I went for Flare Blitz like an idiot. I should have just Shadow Boned it. I mean, the Drampa's going to be able to knock us out here, so it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Faramosa will faint. And Marowak will also faint, so Drampa doesn't even get to knock us out. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't touch the Drampa. I'd Bone Meringue, but it's not going to be able to do enough, unfortunately. Unfortunately. And we don't have Protect on 2 Cannon. If my Tucana wasn't Choice Banded, first off, we couldn't do a lot of damage, so it probably wouldn't be helpful. And second off, we could have protected that turn, and then uh, hit the Drampa on the following turn. But what can you do? So, two losses for us this episode. Either either you win both of them. Did we win both of them last time? I don't remember. I don't know. So what was our problem there? I mean, we put a bunch of damage on Torkoal, but I didn't think about Floral Healing, so... I think if we would have just bodied the, uh, or at least faked out the, uh, uh fairy. What's that thing called? Frickin' Dick and Goose. What is his name? Delay. I, I said it in the video, but I was also looking at the name. Floral Healing Guy. Not Faramosa. What is that thing called? I'm a go. What is thing called? Um, I can't. I can't end this video until I remember its name. Not Spritzy. <laughs> Damn it! What is that thing called? Confey. <laughs> if we would have just like faked out the Confey and then brave birded the Faramosa and then the following turn heavy slammed into the confey and then we could have bird bird the torkoal again and would have knocked it out i think that's that would have been a better play but i didn't think about torkoal switching in now, unfortunately we weren't able to do enough damage to torkoal to knock it out that first turn but what can you do anyway guys thank you so much for joining me today hopefully next episode we can do a little bit better again with this team it's kind of a hit and miss with this team right now i have made another team so I've actually made two more teams, so hopefully we can we can get one of those on coming up pretty soon here. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Stay sharp, everyone.